Allora, benvenuti and welcome to Ricardo's Kitchen Cucina Rustica. Now, in this episode, we are going to be learning how to cook spaghetti alla carbonara. It's a dish where you see it in many Italian restaurants, but there are different ways of doing it. This is Ricardo's Kitchen Cucina Rustica style. We're going to be using bacon or pancetta. We're going to be using double cream or you can use single, single cream, it doesn't matter. Or for all those people who have intolerance to uh, milk, you can use oats cream. Um, you can also, we're going to be adding parmigiano reggiano to the actual dish. And the final and the last um, ingredient which I like to add is to add the red of the egg, the yolk. So in the meantime the pasta is boiling. Usually take between five to eight minutes for the pasta to boil. I like my spaghetti al dente, being Italian, which is very important. So here we are. I'm putting now the pasta from the hot water straight into the pan. The reason why I'm not actually draining the pasta is because um, I like every time you put the, the pasta into the pan, usually you add water to it and that gives it a bit of an extra juice to the carbonara. As you can see, I'm actually stirring the spaghetti because obviously you have to be very careful that the cream doesn't stick to the pan. Now remember the ingredients I've used is Iva pancetta, um, you can use also bacon and you can use Iva ham. In this case I'm using uh, pancetta. Now what I like to do, the final stage of my carbonara, I like to take the red of the egg and put it inside the dish. Now remember to whisk the pasta really quickly. Don't let the red of the egg cook. If it does, the pasta becomes all sticky. Here we are, you see? I like to add an extra portion of Parmigiano Reggiano to my dish. Now for those people who like cheese, just add more cheese it actually enhances the dish. Now, if the pasta does become slightly dry, don't, don't panic, just get a ladle, add a little bit of hot water from the actual spaghetti. Okay, here we are. Spaghetti carbonara. Now, as you can see, I am also a cheese lover, especially from cheeses like Parmigiano Reggiano, Pecorino and so on. In, the, in this case, I'm using Parmigiano Reggiano. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell friends and family. It will help for this channel to grow immensely. And I'll see you next time at Ricardo's Kitchen Cucina Rustica. Andiamo! <laughs>